Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. This will go from January 5th through the 11th, 2020. Yes, 2020. Happy New Year, guys. Um, so I've taken the liberty of pulling the cards. Um, this is how you come into the week, the advice of the cards. The outcome, if you take the advice of the cards. Cancer, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. Um, you can text me now. You can text your question to the number below. If you have a question or two or whatever, um, you can get an answer via your mobile device. Pay for your question on your mobile device. It just makes me more accessible to you and you accessible to me. Take advantage of the text question if you're feeling moved to do so. All right, so let's jump into this cancer. How do you come into the week? The Ace of Fire. Okay, very nice. The advice of the cards is the three of water, okay? And the outcome is the king of fire. All right, so Cancer, you're very focused, very much going after some new opportunity. It could be in career or, or something about you changing your life. See, this is about going after your own health, wealth, and happiness. Um, whatever that means to you, what you are most passionate about. You could be changing your life completely. And it's something you're actively doing that brings about this change. This could be moving. This could be severing ties. This could be going to a new job. It talks about career advancement here. Um, it could be anything. It could be... Um, having a baby or planning to have a baby. Um, there's a need to celebrate here because, once again, a birth announcement here, so a wedding, uh, just a need to have more fun here, uh, to communicate, to hang out with friends or like-minded people, uh, maybe siblings, family. Um, this is also for you to explore maybe some early childhood uh, learned um, education, like early childhood education. What did you learn? And education is not just, of course, the, the structured education when you go to school, but what did you learn in your upbringing, in your home life that shaped you as a person, molded you? This is for you to explore and maybe for you to come to some uh, realization in regards to how you deal with maybe siblings, family, friends, neighbors, people who are close to you, but at bay also. Um, so this is for you to explore that. I think once you start to, you also could want to just reconcile with someone. The cards are telling you to explore everything I just talked about. But also could be talking about reconciliation. This is not always just with, you know, a love partner. Cause, but that's what most of you are primarily here for. I get it. This could be with friends. This could be with family. Let's talk about reconciliation. Um, because you're, you're, you've explored the emotions that you have surrounding um, individuals. Individual relationship. Maybe how you communicate. Your communication style. Is it all fun and no stability? You could be reconciling with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, like yourself. You could be hitting the ground running in regards to this reconciliation, this move or this changing of your life. You're really trying to stay focused and you're just really trying to communicate your vision to maybe someone else. Trying to be a leader and you're getting advice from someone who's creative, someone who understands energy, understands how to put the pieces together. And that could be the king of fire because he's a good motivator of the people. He's he um, or she not very good with delegation, but definitely good with orchestrating others. This person knows a lot of people. They know they have a lot of contacts. They have a lot of connection. And maybe this is you, how you're coming off. 
and you're really trying to orchestrate something, pull all of the puzzle pieces together. This could be you. This could be someone you're dealing with. Uh, definitely learning about asking questions, being inquisitive, um, just having a quest or, uh, yeah, being on a quest for more knowledge. You may get some challenging information or give challenging information. Um, do know that it might be delays, but stay focused. This is also a learning card. Ask the necessary questions so that you have the information so that you can be creative and maybe shifting, shaping, molding some plan of action. Some of you are spying on someone else. You could even be daydreaming about someone else. Um wanting to come towards them but not having any confidence to do so. Some of you want to reconnect, reestablish. Or someone wants to reconnect, reestablish with you. You could be the mother of their children. You could be trying to inquire about the Queen of Earth. It looks like this may be some male cancer. This is typically the male cancer here, King of Fire. You could be inquiring about someone who you, you view as very practical, in shape, cares about their body, cares about luxury, their home, is a working mother. You, you have placed them on a pedestal for some of you or or. Cancer women, someone is, is doing this for you. They're putting you high up on that pedestal. Someone, you cancer or someone else wants to come toward you. They're not sure if they should. Uh, I will tell you there's no offer here. It's a lot of fantasy. A lot of emotional elation. But there's no real offer. Um, cancer looks like a really interesting week for you. Do the work in regards to either reconciling, moving, changing your life altogether, cutting out all that doesn't serve you. Um, cancer, if you feel like you want to get a personal reading, go over to the website. All information is below, or you can text a question to the number below. Thank you, Cancer. Have a really good week. Take care and stay in prayer, guys. Happy New Year.